Hey everyone, I'm going to do a solo playthrough of Walk and Roll, the modern Asian dice game. Daryl Chow. It's a very simple one, so I was like, why not just uh, set up on camera? So I'm going to do this simple menu. Um, so this is a double sided board. This is the simple menu side. This is more of the expert advanced side. Um, I will be showing you the simple side today. I'll grab my dice. And it comes with a built-in dice tray, which I love. I always love when they do, they have that. And I'll set this aside. And then I will grab my own um, marker. I do prefer to use something more um, visible. I'll be using this red one, and then maybe we could get in a little bit closer to the gameplay. All right, I think that's close enough. Um, so let's see, is that better? Cool. All right. So let's just write down my restaurant name. We'll do that and then we'll get started. So basically when you play solo, um, the color of the dice doesn't really matter. You get to use all six dice, um, the way you want. And so you'll just roll your dice. And it's like Yahtzee, you get to roll a die, um, your dice up to three times before you lock in what you want. Um, as you can see in this menu, there's a bunch of recipes and they're, they're kind of, they're like vertical from left to right. So for this recipe, you have to start from the top to the bottom. If you utilize two, di uh, two rice and one shrimp, you can cross off this one. If you get two rice and a chicken, you get to cross off starting at this box going down. And so as you end up cooking more of these entrees, these dishes, you'll get more points at the end of the game as you progress. Um, so here's just a closer look at some of those recipes. On the left side, we start with a fridge of items. So we get one each of each die and we have specialty skills. So the specialty skills allow us to use two recipe books and then we can mark one of these um, skills where in the future, if we roll a recipe book, we can utilize those as one of those uh, other ingredients whenever it comes up. Or we could spend three recipe books and um, gain some extra score modifiers for the end of the game. So for every rice dish, you get one if you've completed them. Um, so yeah, and then the rest of the dishes are here. The harder ones obviously have more dice involved, such as the shrimp dishes. Um, so you get three points for completing a dish with four shrimp. And if you complete it from uh, all these one, two, three points of, of shrimp dishes, you get an additional two. If you complete this section, you get an additional two. Um, in a solo game, there are two round, uh, 10 rounds. And so to notate that, I'm going to write down the rounds here. And I'm just going to cross them off as I go. All right, so my first roll looks okay. So I'm gonna actually keep the two rice and then I'll also keep that broccoli. And then I'll roll, um, keep the two shrimp as well. And I'll roll this book just to see if I get another shrimp. Nope, another rice and let's try again. Hoping for another, another shrimp. And we got rice. All right, so I'm going to use these two bowls of rice and the broccoli to mark this. So I have two points right now. And then I'll use these two shrimps um, to mark this. And how these work is if I were to mark um, each pair, so this rice and this rice, I get to gain an extra rice that I could utilize on a future turn as an ingredient. So just that's something to note as well. And on this side, if you were to do each pair here, one of each here, it creates a recipe book that you can also utilize in the future. All right. Ooh, the three shrimp. I'll keep those. I'm going to keep rolling for shrimp. Got the fourth shrimp. I mean, now we have two rice bowls, which we could potentially keep and use one of the ingredients from the fridge. So I think I'll, I'll play it safe and do that. So I've marked off this for three points for the four shrimp. And then I have two rice and I'll use the two rice and um, I'll do the broccoli. 
and then now I get three more points. Oh, so I that was ten, and now that was nine, and now on uh, turn eight. I'm sorry, so it's like turn three, but I'm going backwards. Ooh, love the rice here. I'll keep the broccoli, and then um, I'll keep the rice. We're we rolling the chicken. Ooh, nice. Okay, so I'll, I'll keep these. So I have the four point uh, chicken and broccoli, uh, chicken and broccoli, <laughs> the rice and broccoli, and then we have the chicken dish as well with the rice. All right. As you can see, this is a very quick game. All right. Um, not doing well with the recipe books, but let's see. I'll keep the two broccolis and the two chickens. Then I'll keep the book and maybe I'll hope for a book. And nope, I'll reroll one more time. Oh, I did get the book. Cool. So I have two recipe books and I'm going to use it for. Hmm. I think I'm going to use it for the shrimp. So let's do that. So if I ever roll um, a, a recipe book in the future, I could use that as a shrimp instead. And then now I'm going to mark the two broccolis here. And then the two chickens here and i've created a rice bowl to so now I have a rice bowl available to use Ooh, i have three so let's keep these three books so that we can get a scoring thingy i have two broccolis um and a noodle i'll keep the noodle and yes this is what i think i wanted i think <laughs> So using the three recipe books, I have a lot of rice dishes. So I think it's probably in my best interest to do that and gain some extra points for rice dishes. Then I have two noodles and a broccoli. Now mark that. All right. We're halfway through the game. Ooh, three shrimp. Let's definitely take that. And then we have a book, noodle, and a broccoli. I think we'll keep the noodle. Hmm. Okay, I think it is fine actually. So I'll use the three shrimp to mark this off. Now I get that bonus two points here as well. And then I'm gonna use this book as a shrimp. So it's a shrimp, shrimp, noodle. I'll do that. All right. Ooh, shrimp, shrimp, broccoli I'll keep. And then I'll keep the rice. Ooh, two books wow um sure let's do this okay so there's gonna be shrimp shrimp broccoli and then shrimp shrimp rice so all i need is this shrimp shrimp chicken to get an extra two points there but i also have fridge items i could use if i don't end up getting it okay so i have the shrimp have the chicken um should i just keep these I think so. I think I'll keep these as is and utilize some of my fridge items since I have only three turns left. So I have the shrimp chicken. I need a shrimp. So I'll cross off the shrimp to do that. I have a noodle noodle. And I'll try to do that with the chicken. Actually, I'd rather do the rice. So rice, rice, chicken. And I have, ooh, I'll get this for the book. Make the recipe book into a shrimp because of the specialty skill. And there's a shrimp, shrimp, it's a noodle, noodle, shrimp in that case. I'll mark that so nothing went to waste. Cool. Uh, I have noodle, noodle, broccoli. Then I'll keep the rice and hope we get some rice stuff. Okay, re-rolling this. Oops, let's roll it in. Ooh, a chicken. Okay, a rice, rice, chicken works for me. And then a uh, noodle, noodle, broccoli works for me. All right, this is the last turn. All right, so... Mm, Let's try to do the rice and the shrimp. And then re-roll these, try to finish the rice dishes. OK. 
Okay. And then the last roll. Oh, so much shrimp going on. Okay. Because I didn't need to worry about shrimp. Hmm. So I could do the rice, rice, shrimp. And then I have a rice I could use, but I don't think there's anything else to do there. Oh, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if this was the best roll. I'm trying to see if I could do something here. So this would potentially be another shrimp. That's three shrimp. I don't need all that. I don't think there's anything I can mark down with these dice. Wow. All right. Well, there you go. That was my 10 rounds and we can do scoring now. Um, bad last turn, but that's okay. So in terms of scoring, we get one point per rice dish. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight points. Then we have two, four, six plus six is 12 plus eight is 20. Here we have two, four, Plus three is seven. Here we only have two points. Here we have a lot of points. So we have six, eight here on this side. And then two, four, six, eight, ten. So a total of 18. And so we're just going to add up all of these and see what our score is. So we have um, 18 plus two is 20. Plus 20 is 40. Plus 15 is 55. So let's see what that tells us there is uh, some scoring ranges so let's take a look at that and the rolls are in the box so let me grab them okay so simple menu we got a score of 55 so that says now that's using your noodle so unfortunately it wasn't like on the second half of the um, taste points ranges but um, at least I didn't completely lose. <laughs> well, there you have it. Less than 15 minutes to play. Extremely set up, uh, easy setup here. 10 rounds, very quick. Um, I will eventually do a expert uh, menu version uh, playthrough for you guys, but I figured might as well do a simple menu first and then kind of ease my way into the expert. Um, Really appreciate you guys watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment with any um, thoughts about this game. I think there's a new version, um, Korean Wave, I believe. Um, interested in that one. Have to see um, how I can get my hands on it. But yeah, um, thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys around. Thanks.